Main risk factors for preventable chronic diseases are tobacco use, lack of physical activity, and excessive alcohol use. The risk factors have caused unpreventable and preventable diseases like disability and death. To reduce these risk factors, prevent diseases or injury before it ever occurs, reduce the impact of a disease or injury that has already occurred, soften the impact of an ongoing illness or injury that has lasting effects. We all need to invest our time and money in improving healthy lifestyle behaviors by increasing physical activity and improving our diet. By doing this, almost 35% of early deaths will be avoided. Our integrative nutrition health specialist, Betty Olainka Folari Akinlo Sotu, aka Bofa, advocates for this every Sunday on Health Corner and Nutrition Segments, showing on Healthy Living with Bofa Channel, where she also features professionals on interview with expert segments. Join us every Sunday, 2 p.m. U.S. time, 7 p.m. U.K. and Nigeria time, 8 p.m. South African time. See you there. Hello, viewers. Welcome back on the show. This is Healthy Living with Bofa Health and Nutrition Talk Show, a wellness talk show. I'm Betsy Olainka Folani Akinosusu, a.k.a. Bofa. I am honored to be your host today. And we continue to be on if I be Shemi Jari. I shall not be replaced in Jesus' name. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining us today on the show again. I promise it is going to be awesomely educated today. Why? Because you get to receive lots of information today. Let's get started. Following a healthy diet is a goal many of us aspire to. But anyone who has ever tried knows that it is easier said than done. It is not easy, but it is simple. Believe it or not, there are tons of cheap, healthy food options out there that will help you eat better on a tight budget. From sweet fruit to vitamin-filled vegetables and high-quality cheap protein options. So let's get started. What are these food? I will be discussing about affordable and effective healthy food you can eat daily. I was on a program on AIT for an interview on health and nutrition recently while I was in Nigeria. And one of the questions asked was, what are the affordable healthy food for low income or poor people in Nigeria? I mentioned few, but wasn't enough time to list all this for an interview then on I health thought and nutrition it would recently. be a good idea to discuss yeah, this on this show so that we can all benefit from it. So let's talk about healthy food you don't have to break the bank for. I mean delicious, affordable foods to try for optimal health. Yes, what are these food? affordable and effective healthy food. Let's start from grain. Grain food are known to be carbohydrate, fiber, energy. They are part of micronutrients we must consume daily. Why? Because we need energy. So I'm gonna be talking about grain, which I'm gonna be getting my oatmeal from. So oatmeal, as a whole grain, oatmeal has killed, yes, it has killer health benefits, including lowering the cholesterol and risk of heart disease. This healthy food option can also lower blood sugar levels and reduce the risk of heart disease and cancer. It is good for weight loss as well. If you want to experiment on it. It's good for weight loss. You can have it as your weight loss diet because they are low in calories, but high in fiber and protein, which helps lose weight, of course. So it makes one feel full longer than other food. So if you eat oatmeal, it make you full all day. Why? Because the fiber content in oatmeal can also aid the digestive system. It helps the bowel movement. That's the meaning of aiding the digestive system. It makes you go to the toilet. It makes you do number two 
It makes you do do on time because when you eat food that is rich in fiber, you move your bowel. You digest on time. Next one is whole wheat flour. This increases your iron, calcium, and protein intake. So all wheat is good. Millet or kababa is very high in B vitamins and very cheap. Yes. Pap and beans cake. They are rich in carb, protein, fiber, fat. Of course, you have vegetables to, to fry beans cake, akara. In fact, that's what I ate this morning. That's, that was my breakfast, pap and akara, right here. As you can see, this is my beans cake. I have them fried this morning, store them in my refrigerator, take it every morning with my pap. Yes. Don't think we, are, we live in the U.S. We don't eat local food. I eat local food. I don't eat all this junk. 99% of my food are coming from Africa. I purchase them from African store here. So don't think when you see us, we cannot eat like you do. And I feel bad when I come home, I come to Nigeria and I see people saying all sorts of things that they cannot eat pap, they cannot eat bean cake. They see this food, they classify this food. They leave this food for local people, for, for, uh, for poor people, no. And that is the reason why you see those poor people living longer than rich people because they are eating healthy. They eat from the soil. They eat plants. They eat herbs, roots, vegetables, fruit from the, from the farm, from the village. So I eat the same thing. Beans are micronutrients. What are these micronutrients? Minerals and vitamins. Minerals like potassium, magnesium, iron, calcium, sodium, and vitamins like vitamin B6, vitamin B12, and vitamin A. You have all this in the, in, in the beans you eat. And what are these macronutrients? They are carbohydrate and protein. That's what you get from the beans. It's like you have all your nutrients from beans alone. So if you have your beans in the morning or afternoon or in the evening, you have all the nutrients your body requires every day. Yes, because you've already have minerals, you have, you, you have vitamins, you have carbohydrates, you have protein, you have fiber, almost everything. Beans are very rich in fiber as well. It's one of the highest source of vegetable protein. 100 grams, which is one cup of beans, gives you 128 calories. About 12 minutes of running can burn down that calorie. Yes. And don't forget, we have variety of beans. Yes, not only the regular beans, honey beans or regular beans, not only that we call beans, we have variety of beans. Soya bean is the highest. Yes, highest protein among beans. Because when I was in my workshop recently in Nigeria, they were asking me about soya beans. I didn't get enough time to explain in detail. Today, I'm going to tell you what soya beans gives your body. In a half cup of soya beans, you will get 32% of the daily value for protein in a 2,000 calorie diet. So this means that one cup of regular beans, either honey beans or non-honey beans, will give you 128 calories, while half a cup of soya beans will give you 2,000 calories, which simply means or simply illustrated that you are getting more healthy carb, more protein, more fiber, more macronutrient, which is vitamin and mineral from soy beans than regular beans. Regardless, you receive all the nutrients. I mean, carbohydrate, new pro I mean, protein, fiber, minerals, 
vitamin, little fat. So I recommend you eat more bits than other carbohydrate food. So go for it, especially soy beans. Now, of course, many people say wheat bread is expensive, not available in Nigeria. Some even say it's tasteless. Mm, they can't eat it. Because whenever I come to Nigeria, I come with my wheat bread. Because I don't trust the one in Nigeria. And if I even I trust, I don't see them. So not available, acceptable that it is not available. Very expensive, of course, if it is not available, those who have it will put more price on it. So it is expensive. What about brown rice? Same excuses. The only excuse I am going to accept is the cost effective. It's very costly. Other than that, I don't want to hear anything. Yes, both brown rice and wheat bread are very expensive. I can go for that. I can live with that. Yes. Let's talk about basmati rice. At least I see this each time I'm in Nigeria. In the restaurants and in the supermarket, you have basmati rice. Now, what do you get from basmati rice? Basmati rice contains carbohydrates, small amount of protein, very less fat. You get vitamins, you get minerals, of course, enough fiber to keep you healthy. It is a valuable food for those recovering from illness. Asthmatic rice builds body tissues and is very rich in vital bowel energy. In the absence of that plasmatic rice or your pocket is that low to purchase basmatic rice or brown rice, whatever rice you want to buy, or probably not available in the supermarket or restaurants near you. I'm happy to tell you that you can substitute brown or basmati rice with local rice or fada. That local rice contains a rich supply of energizing vitamin Bs. I've taught you what these vitamin Bs are on this show. I'm going to state them again. Vitamin Bs are vitamin B6, vitamin B12, vitamin uh, B9, folate, folic acid. Folate is the natural form of vitamin B9. They are water-soluble and naturally found in many foods. So this is what you get from Ofada rice. Local rice. It also contains essential minerals such as phosphorus, zinc, and a substantial amount of protein which could help in burning calorie faster. Can you now see what you get from Ofada rice? So this regular white rice it, nobody said it's not good. If anybody tell you don't eat, don't eat that. I'm not coming here to tell you don't eat, don't eat. It's just the way you eat them. In a month of what you eat, also what you combine with what you put in your plate matters to me a lot. You can eat white rice. You can eat bread, white bread. You can eat whatever you want to eat as in carbohydrate, but what you are, you must make sure that your plate contain all these five nutrients. You must have your protein, you must have your fat, you must have your uh, vitamins, your minerals. And let me tell you recently, I mentioned it multiple times on this show, that you can have one food that will give you all these five nutrients, such as beans. I mentioned that. Peanuts can also do that. I just mentioned rice now. Lots of lots of food like that I'm going to be mentioning in a few minutes. Now, eba with lots of vegetables. Eba is gari. Cassava. Eba with lots of vegetables. If anybody tell you don't eat eba, maybe you have one or two health issues going on. 
such as, you know, diabetes, you don't eat ever. We would rather go for turmeric gari, that is, you know, gari that is enriched with turmeric, coconut, lemongrass. I'll tell you where to get that one shortly. So you can go for eba with lots of vegetables. Gari, let me tell you what you get from gari. I mean, cassava before it turns to gari. You may not get all this from gari, but cassava itself contains micronutrients, which is minerals, such as potassium, magnesium, iron, calcium, and also vitamin, because micronutrients consist of vitamins and minerals. So the mineral, the vitamins you get from cassava are like vitamin C, lot of vitamin C, like about 34% of vitamin C, it's 20 milligrams you get from cassava, depends on the quantity. B6, vitamin B6, and what do you get as macronutrient? Carbohydrate, of course, carbohydrate and little protein. So now look at that gari. If somebody tell you don't eat gari, gari that is made with, made from cassava, and somebody's gonna tell you don't eat it, and you see all these nutrients coming from gari, from cassava, and they want to tell you don't eat it. No. No. You can eat them if you don't have health issues, which must be monitored by your, you know, doctor. Yes, or your nutritionist. Yes, or they are your dietitian. They must monitor you if you have, you know, you have um, health issues that will deprive you from eating certain food. Because I'm not going to convince anybody. I'm not going to confuse anyone to eat this, not to eat that. I'm just going to be straight forward. Tell you, if you don't have any issue, then you can go for all this I'm talking about. But if you have any underlying illness, please see your doctor, which your doctor will refer you to your nutritionist or dietitian. Please get that. I want you to know that. And for this, of father rice and to marry Gary, I mean, Gary Dudu. So for this, to marry Gary, I call it to marry Gary. I have it here because the, the CEO of this company is still fighting me that I shouldn't call it to marry Gary. It, it says Gary Dudu. I said to marry Gary because all the ingredients are to marry lemongrass, coconut, and so on. And since I started eating this gari since last year, precisely, I know what it does in my body, especially the ingredients. I feel the ingredients all the time in my skin. I, that's why I like to call it to Mary Gary. This is a good product you can go for. So for this, this product, you can contact a Jogbe group for pure non-fertilized local rice and this gari even the regular gari the regular rice the local rice i mean of father regular gari and this gari this enriched with lots of healthy healthy ingredients you can contact them contact them at two three four seven zero five five three four two four two four call this number they can, in fact, they can deliver to your doorstep. Tell them that Bofa says that. It's, a, it's something that you will get from me. I'm going to pay for the shipping. If you want to, I just gave you the number now. Call the number. Even if you want to buy one, call the number right now. They will deliver it to your doorstep. I promise you that. We are paying for it. So you just order. We are paying for the shipping. I guarantee you are eating pure, natural, not fertilized, but enriched with lots of healthy ingredient food. If you buy from this company, you can miss it. So Gary, food for you. You can also have this Gary with peanut. Yes, I like peanut. This is my peanut right here. And I always soak my Gary with peanuts. You know, so you can soak. 
especially this gari do, do oh my goodness if you taste this gari you will not eat any other thing and i've told you what you are getting from gari right now so you should be calling right now to get it just try it so you can soak your gari with peanuts as well and what do you get from peanuts have received tons of questions whether peanuts are good for people with underlying illnesses. Are peanuts good for diabetics? The answer is yes. Peanuts are commonly recommended as a smart food choice for individuals with type 2 diabetes. Why? Because peanuts and many other legumes like lentils and beans can improve glycemic control in individuals with type 2 diabetes while also reducing risk of cardiovascular disease. So peanuts are low glycemic nutrient dense food, rich in dietary fiber and plant protein, which means they will not spike blood sugar. Overall, high fiber diets are associated with a lower risk of type 2 diabetes. Therefore, peanut or natural peanut butter are convenient, affordable, and easy to incorporate into a healthy diet. Go for it. Though peanuts are high in calories, but they are also nutrient dense and contain protein and healthy fats. What is nutrient dense food? Nutrient dense food are a great way to get the important nutritional elements you need while being budget conscious. So you want to make sure that if you don't have the money to buy those expensive organic, you can just go for nutrient dense foods, which I've been telling you for the past few minutes. And one important information about peanut is peanut should be enjoyed as a snack and not consumed as a meal. So try to only eat a couple and full of peanuts for a snack or soak with gari. Don't try to eat one bottle of peanut instantly. Say more or wheat with lots of vegetables. You can also go for popcorn. Undergrain popcorn is what I'm going to mention last. Okay, let's talk about protein. Protein like chicken, like turkey, like beef, fish, eggs, and so on. I know all these are very expensive in Nigeria. I understand that. I am aware of it. Like chicken, like turkey, is something that is very only high, you know, high cost. Now, you can go for beef. You can go for fish. You can eat egg, you can eat beans. You have your protein from this. Let's start with egg. Egg are a low calorie food, rich in protein that boosts metabolic activities and increase feelings of fullness. So eating eggs, they support weight loss, especially if a person incorporates them into a calorie control diet. If you want to lose weight, eat egg as part of a healthy breakfast with fruits and vegetables. And don't forget, I always tell you, your fruit must be eaten, must be taken 30 minutes, one hour to 30 minutes before your meal, your, your real dish or after your meal. Don't forget that. Now, it is nutritionally suggested one or maximum two eggs in a day. However, the science says up to three whole eggs per day are perfectly safe for healthy people. Why is that? The summary of the study says eggs 
constantly raise HDL, high density lipoprotein, the good cholesterol. Because for 70% of people, there is no increase in total or LDL cholesterol. Some may have experienced a mild increase in a benign subtype of LDL. Eggs can hit your body from within. So in peak summer, I mean, during the summer, one is advised, one egg is advised to so stick to just one egg. Yes. Now, even though eggs are a storehouse of nutrients, source of high quality protein, an excessive egg consumption can lead to elevated cholesterol level. That is just a summary. That is just the bottom line. If you are eating egg, if you don't have high cholesterol, even though eggs are a storehouse of nutrients, source of high protein, quality protein for you, if you eat too much of that egg, you eat more than two or three, it can lead to elevated cholesterol levels. So be careful. Boil egg with boiled plantain. This is also good. This can be your breakfast or probably your dinner. Because plantain and egg, plantain has a lot of fibers that will make it digest while you sleep and wake up in the next morning. So boiled plantain, also good in the morning because it make you full and do all your daily activities before the days runs out. So it make you more fuller before the day runs out. So you can go for boiled plantain with egg in the morning. One boiled plantain, this is, um, this is um, you can go for ripe or unripe plantain. You are good to go. If you go for two, then you go for two eggs. So you can do that. So I do that. All this food I'm telling you, these are what I eat. You can also settle for my 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 is a delicacy made with a steamed beans, fish, egg, and spices, which is also packed with uh, nutrients, especially proteins and fiber, and of course, low in calories. So go for it. Beans. You can, you can experiment on beans in so many ways. You can recipe on beans in so many styles. You can make my mind, you can make bean cake, you can eat it with fry egg, I mean fry yam of boiled yam. Yes, or pap and vegetables. You can have that. all these are very cheap. Okay, you buy one, Nigeria, Congo, one Congo or Dirica of beans. You can, oh my goodness, you can make wonders with that one Congo. You can make the, you can boil the beans itself with put pepper and, you know, all these ingredients, put fish, boil it like that, make it like sauce. You can also make it like, well, you can make it uh, as my mind. You can also make it with uh, as a bean cake. You can make it so many things you can. What is this thing called the, the serve with uh, Amala? Um, Begiri, yes. Yes, you can make it with, make it, make as Begiri. Amala, Begiri, Uluwa, Jesu. You eat and sleep. One thing about me is when I eat this African food, I sleep off. Okay, let's talk about food. Banana is one of the fruits I want to mention. Bananas. A single banana usually costs less. You know that. Banana is not that expensive. Not that expensive. I don't want anybody to tell me that banana is expensive. It is not. A single banana usually costs less. Banana with peanut butter or with regular peanut 
is the best snacks for better sleep. A banana with peanut butter is a bedtime snack that can actually help you sleep better. If you can't sleep, it means elevated glucose level keep you awake. Otherwise, try it. Try banana with peanut butter or with peanut. And if you still cannot sleep, you need to avoid refined sugar and carb before bed because they can contribute to poor sleep and digestion. But trust me, a banana with peanut butter or banana with peanut is a bedtime snack that can actually help you sleep better. To a woman on this show, don't tell your man that I say this. If you want your man to hit you hard, give him banana with peanut. Next one is apple. Apple are full of fiber and vitamins. And they are delicious. And these apple are known to be expensive in Nigeria. But what about oranges? Lemon, lime, pineapple, papaya, we call it purple, watermelon. These can serve as substitutes. You don't have to eat apple if you don't have the money. Go for banana, go for oranges, go for lemon. They are cheaper, pineapple, papaya. They are very cheap out there. Take one, take two. Substitute all these with the expensive ones. Yes. Let's go to veggies, such as carrots, cucumber, cabbage, onions, sweet potatoes, corn, plantain flour, amala. I've told you, stop eating this regular onishu. Amala onishu. Go for amala, plantain flour. Plantain flour. If you go to the restaurants, ask them. This is one of the products I'm recommending for my fans. This is made by Rodex Food. Get it. Go for plantain flour. Roasted plantain and peanuts. I mentioned that. They are in the class of veggie. Vegetable soup has been proven that native vegetable-based soup, ugu soup, bitter leaf soup, ewedu soup, or her soup, edekaiko, all these uh, tete, shoko, ewuro, scent leaf, um, juit leaf, ewedu, water leaf, they are great option nutritionally and will help you shed that stubborn weight. What about okra? Okra is a warm season vegetable known as a good source of minerals, vitamins, antioxidants, and fiber. And it's also good for weight loss. Across mucilage helps the body move toxins. I have it. Manjedada. I like it. Okra, but I just want to make okra right here. You see, I don't deceive myself. If you look at me like this, ah, she's so beautiful. She can't eat local food. I am eating local food. Only monjeju. Ah, monjeju. Monjeju. Ah, if you come to my house, local food, you don't have to eat junk. So don't be looking at me as angel. I'm not an angel. I eat from the soil. Yes, I eat from the soil. Let me tell you what U.S. Department of Agriculture, USDA says. According to the U.S. Department of Agriculture, National Nutrient Database says that raw okra contains calories, protein, fat, carbohydrate, fiber, sugar, vitamin K, 
thiamine, vitamin A, vitamin C, minerals like potassium, sodium, magnesium, calcium, folate, iron, lectin, which may reduce the risk of cancer, certain cancers. Niacin, vitamin B is called niacin. Phosphorus and copper. This is what you have in okra. Being a good source of fiber, it improves digestion, wheels keeping you satiated for a long time. As a result of that, minimize your food cravings. Can you now see what you are getting from all this food that you think is low, is nasty, is rough, is doesn't look nice? Ah, they do look nice physically. But when they get to that body, they make that body look sexy. They make that body look strong. They make that body look energetic. They make that body look healthy. I'm telling you, go for them. Abba and seasonings. Let's talk about it. Salt adds a lot of flavor to your cooking. But go for easy on this pantry staple to keep your sodium intake in check. This means don't eat too much of salt, especially if you have high blood pressure. If your blood is, your blood pressure is so high, take it slow, take it low on salt intake. Salt is one of the things that we must eat because our body needs sodium. We can, we can avoid it. Some people will tell me, I don't even eat salt anymore. How do you get your sodium? How do you get your sodium? From which other food do you get your sodium? Of course, you have some other food. Can you tell me? Some people don't even know what they are eating. They don't know what they get from the food. Let me tell you, you need salt in your body. But how much? That's what you need to work on. Pepper is also good for your body. Because what meals is complete without little pepper. What meal is complete without little pepper? Tell me. So you need pepper. You need garlic. Garlic something worth celebrating. I don't eat it because of the smell, but tell me, but trust me, it is believed to have a wide range of health benefits, including boosting the immune system and lowering blood pressure. So go for it. Lemongrass, it is in this, it's right here. We have lemongrass in our product. Go for it. Lemongrass is in this. Gary Dudu, turmeric. When you go to the store, you ask for Gary Dudu. And rich with lemongrass, turmeric, coconut, and so on. That's the way you tell them. So lemongrass is one of the herbs you want to go for. You can even cook the lemongrass and drink as a concoction, as a tea in the morning or at night. So lemongrass is good. It's, 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 not, the, it's not something we want to talk about today. It's, it's, a, it's, it's a topic for another time. Now, bay leaves. All these ingredients I'm mentioning, there are some ones that I'm not going to mention. That means they're not good. So whatever I mentioned, no, they are good for you. So bay leaves are also good. You can add so much flavor to meals, like soup and stew. Mints can be bought for less than one dollar. Nigeria, you see it on the street, on the in the, your garden, on the side road. Just take it, take it home, add it to your meal. Yeah, make a delicious addition to iced tea or lemonade. Scent leaves also good. Thyme has vitamin K, vitamin A, and iron. These are just a few of the nutrients that make this app so special. So time is good. Do you hear me mentioning curry? Me month of focus in curry, so I won't talk about it. So green tea has been associated with several health benefits, including weight loss, 
because of its rich nutritional and antioxidant makeup. If you want to keep your weight in balance, drinking between two and three cups of hot green tea throughout the day work better for you. You can have green tea if you don't have a sensitive stomach because green tea is, is um, alkaline and stimulates uh, uh, the secretion of extra gastric juices. So um, you want to go for it if you don't have a um, sensitive stomach. But if you otherwise, you have green tea right after your meal. Yes, ginger is also a powerful component, powerful, you know, roots you want to go for. You can add it to your uh, pepper when you're blending pepper for African sauce. You can blend it together. You can use it to boil your chicken, your beef. You can sauce it with anything. This You can eat it raw. You can add it to your smoothie, to your juice. It's very good, very powerful. If I start telling you what to get from ginger, we won't finish this you know this um this lecture so let's continue ginger is recommended apple cider vinegar also good is the best to drink yes the best one to drink you can go for it yes you can go for it in the morning you can also go for it before meal you have to dilute it if you have organic go for organic one so you want to take two teaspoons drop it in the water warm water to cleanse your system in the morning before food. And when you are going to bed, after one hour of your meal, drop another two teaspoon, mix it with warm water, drink it, and go to bed. You're good to go. Nuts, it's another food, another snack, rather. Nuts, like peanut, I mentioned that. Cashew is also there. Cashew is rich in magnesium, very essential for regulating the metabolism of fat and carbohydrate, which may further help you to lose weight, of course. Cashew are relatively excellent source of protein. You get protein from it. The type of fat <clears throat> present in cashew, not, stops growth of good cholesterol and reduces the bad cholesterol. So I would say cashew is better when you are choosing peanut. I mean, when you are choosing nut, if you react, your body react to peanut, you can substitute with cashew or almond because you don't have almond in Nigeria. If you want to buy almond in Nigeria, you have to pay a lot. You have to spend a lot. But cashew, I think cashew is, is cheaper. Peanut is also cheaper. So you want to go for cashew nuts which are high in calories, so exercise portion also. Let's bring today's show to a close so that we can bring you another edition next week by the grace of God. Thank you so much for joining us today. I am so honored and happy to have you on. I'm Betsy Olayin Kapolani Akimo Soto, aka Bofa, Holistic Nutrition X Specialist, advocating for health and wellness. I'll see you next week. Thank you and God bless you. Bye.